Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, almost halfway to the weekend. At noon today, it's official. I've seen a lot of you commenting on my uh, fuel economy on my pickup down there. My economy's not doing very well this week because I've been idling it a little bit more uh, in the mornings and afternoons just to warm it up after it's been sitting out in the cold. Uh, so yeah, right now we're doing 16.4 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, that's not good. Average on this truck would be about 13 to 13.5 liters per 100 kilometers. So the Europeans' eyes just got very wide. I understand your vehicles there do much better on fuel. Uh, if I were to get like a Chevy Spark or like a really tiny little itty bitty go-kart death trap wagon, uh, I could probably get my fuel economy down to about, uh, I'd say maybe seven, maybe six on the highway, but it is what it is. There's a big V8 under the hood here. And uh, in many seasons here, you need to have a truck. You need to have four wheel drive. You don't really buy a pickup truck for fuel economy. You buy it for a purpose, for use. You can use it to work, to pull, to haul, and four wheel drive, and stability on the road. And, and to look cool, obviously. I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I get about, uh, well, you know, some days in the summertime, I can get about 12 liters per hundred kilometers, 12 and a half over the week. I'll uh, translate that into American for my uh, southern neighbors who haven't caught up with the rest of the world yet and switched to metric. Just poking at you, just poking at you, okay? Don't leave yet. There's lots more vlog. Don't leave yet. I was just kidding. I was at 16.5 liters per 100 kilometers. I'm going to translate that to U.S. miles per gallon because there's different kind of gallons. We do use gallons in some way here in Canada, but they're imperial gallons. They're bigger, better. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bugging you guys so much today. Okay, don't hate me. I'm just, just bugging you. Uh, so that's 14.25 or 14.2 miles per gallon. Primary. That's what I'm getting in my truck right now. Uh, it's not the best. I've been idling it a lot to warm it up before I go in there. While this truck is warming up, I idle that truck just so that I'm not cold. It's all for comfort, right? It's, it's a comfort thing. But in summertime, it's a little different. The, the truck, all vehicles, they also use more fuel when the air outside is cold in general. So even if you don't idle it to keep it warm, you're still gonna use more fuel to, to operate it. So let's say I've gotten 12.5 liters per 100 kilometers in summertime. That was to 13.5, somewhere, let's say, somewhere in there. 12.5 uh, liters per 100 kilometers is about 18.8 .8 US miles per gallon. That's what my truck's averaging if you're wondering what a Chevy Silverado, a 2017 Chevy Silverado is doing. I do mostly highway, a lot of highway, but sort of 25% town, city, 75% highway. I'm sure I could do better than that. I mean, I'm not having the best week with my truck right now, so don't judge this fuel economy. That's not what I get all the time. And it's just been a bad week. And with fuel prices right now, what I'm paying per week. I drive about 500 kilometers per week or about 300 miles and uh, I've been paying about 110 to 125 dollars a week in gas. It used to be 80 dollars. It's now up to at the max 125. This week will probably be about 125 because I'm, I'm doing pretty bad. That's where we're at with fuel situations in the pickup. Step deck roll tight. I'm on my way. I'm only picking up 10 feet of freight in Toulon today. I'm gonna put it up on the kick. I found one. Let's see if it's empty. It is in the empty lineup, so I'm assuming it should be empty. Oh, okay. Well, it is empty. It's just got that, that riser and Okay, that'll be a quick, I'll clean that up real quick. And we'll take this one. All right, it's the only one I see in the yard. I see another step deck over there, but that's one of those older 48 footers. This one's a 53 footer. 414 DTR. You're coming with me. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna go pick up 10 feet of freight. Big plans, big plans. Come on. There you go, walked in. Nice. Off we go. I 
had to spend a little bit of time in the trailer just organizing things a bit. I had to put that riser down on the lower level, chain it in place, and organize all those straps just so that uh, they were all secured as well. These step decks that we have, these step deck roll tights, they don't have storage boxes on them, so there's nowhere to put the equipment. So you always, like the chains and binders and stuff, there's hangers for it at the front of the trailer, right? They, those can be secured, but it's the straps. They have to stay with the trailer on these ones. And we always gotta make sure that they're secured in there because you don't want them rolling around and possibly getting out the side or something and then falling out into traffic, right? That wouldn't be good, so. Make sure those are all in place. Everything else is buttoned up, sealed up, best it can. Now we're gonna go uh, get that 10 feet. I'm told to put it up on the step. The step is usually what, about 12 feet long? So it shouldn't be a problem. Just throw it up there real quick and head back. I'm sure there'll be more for me to do when I get back. icy wind facing south you can tell because there's the sun it's just above the southern horizon it's as high as it's gonna get today and uh, from behind me in the north we got an icy wind just pushing that polar air down here to southern Manitoba and it's supposed to get down to minus 18 Celsius today which isn't that cold for Manitoba but it's the coldest of the season so far it's, uh, it's gonna get a little chilly tonight See, they do have a compartment back here for straps and stuff, but the thing is, <laughs> I don't know why they put it here. You can't open it because these things are in the way. And you can't move them out of the way. There's bolts and stuff in there that prevent these things from sliding any, any further. So, you can't open that. <laughs> but it's there, I guess. 
you got smaller wheels on the back here than our other ones this step deck the lower deck sits a little lower than our other ones you can see it's a bit of a bigger drop than our other ones so the shipper here is a good guy i like him real friendly guy good to talk to he's not quite ready i'm a little bit early for my appointment well, i'm actually quite early for my appointment uh so i'm just gonna wait here in the truck for a little bit until he is ready and stay warm Ooh, it's gonna get chilly winter time is almost here okay minus 18 that's not the coldest how do i translate that here google speak to me what is minus 18 celsius in fahrenheit Minus 18 degrees Celsius is minus 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, we finally hit zero in America speak. Well, what do you know? It's zero degrees out tonight. That's about, uh, that's not even half as cold as it's going to get come January, February. It'll get down to minus 30. And then the wind chill will bring it down to about minus 50, maybe minus 60 if we're lucky. But we're Manitoban, so bring it on. We don't stop just because a little snow and a little cold. Nope. You gotta keep the wheels turning. You gotta keep the economy chugging along. You gotta keep going. Business doesn't stop just because it gets a little uncomfortable. So we got one piece loaded up here already. He's coming around with the other piece. We'll strap her down, close her up. It's always a hassle getting these. Uh, steps off here because remember the other ones that we have open from here both ways right these ones you have to line it up on that strap it together and the whole thing from the front goes to the back you see the difference there that wind has bite What's that commercial that used, that, uh, used to be on the air? Like, Barks has bite. Barks ain't got nothing on this. This wind's got bite. It's not even that cold yet. It's biting hard. Like, seriously. Whew. I'm sheltered here right now. Don't worry, I'm not complaining. I'm just... I gotta clarify, otherwise people are gonna say I'm complaining. Well, yeah, in a way I am complaining. Manitoba's cold, okay? It's okay for us to acknowledge this fact. It's okay. That's the first step in the process of healing. I'm kind of sheltered from it here right now. They got a big tent over there blocking the wind and plus the trailer sort of uh, blocking and forming. So it's not that bad. Okay. Just a little bit of extra strap. Hey, it's better to have too much strap than too little strap. Right? I think my mustache is frozen. Alright, so we got the straps over this, holding this down. We got straps going underneath here, holding that piece down over there. So we're, we're good to go. Now for the fun part of getting this thing closed. Lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Where's this stuff going? This stuff is going to... Oh! Grand Banks, Newfoundland. This is going way out to Newfoundland. Wow, cool. I gotta get over there. Eh, eh. That, that, that was stuck. Oh, hey, okay. see this is how I had secured this before. Chain this riser down here with just enough space. Delete the straps. That they can't get out and then when this thing's closed that steel covers up that whole part there so there's there's no way for them to go anywhere now this is the tricky part about uh getting this top piece to go back over the step you see these rollers here that are hanging off the edge they've got to make it into that track there i've got the first wheels in there and the first wheels in there so i've already got it in that's the toughest part now we just got to push it forward get those second 
second wheels to go in. Okay. See, they don't always want to go in. It's the thing. Let me put you down here. Can you still see it? Let's see if I can. There we go. Come on, get in there. Okay, got those ones in. Okay, now I've got to go to this side. Make sure that this one here is also going in properly. Perfect. Right on. See that? Beautiful. So this side. Come on. You don't want to go up further than that, man. Come on. Okay, is that as far forward as it's going to go? No, it goes further forward than that. But anyways, we got the upper part in the tracks now. So what I can do is I can release these straps that are holding it together. And we're gonna roll that forward. I unlocked that other side behind you. side here yet this one roller I want to get into that track yet though mm, it's being stubborn don't be stubborn there you go there you go see it's doable it just takes a couple of these sometimes don't laugh they're hidden it's a baggy jacket okay they're huge Oh, I gotta get up here again. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Alright. Oh. Ah. Come on, Josh. Lift your legs higher. Okay. You see, and those hooks are gonna hook in there. I do that from the outside. I'll tighten it up at the back. Once these hooks are in place here, and I'll tighten it all up, and we'll be done. The other side's locked up. You see those little hooks in there? Are they? There they are up there. You see that? See that's controlled to this thing. See that? They reach out, they grab it, and they pull it in. Just like that, you see? But I need two hands to push this forward. <laughs> One second. There we go. Oh. Oh. She's got to pull out the guns and you can get her done. That's right. Got them hidden under this jacket. Hope I don't get searched. I'm packing. There we go. Get out of this wind. It'll be nice on the ride back because we're headed south. So we'll have a nice tailwind pushing us along. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm taking this jacket off. Ah, this cab is very small. <laughs> it's, I barely fit in here. Ah, the jacket is just an extra bulk that I don't need. Alright. Okay, we got everything buttoned up, sealed up, lights are on, truck is in gear, brakes are released, clutch, there we go, oh, sweet movement, it won't be long and those tires will be singing their beautiful harmonies again, love that sound, you know I think that's the thing I most, I most miss about being on the highway day after day, is just listening to that, like, 10 hours a day, the beautiful harmony.
That's kind of a nice picture right there, actually. Too bad it means the sun's gone already and I'm not even home yet. I haven't even left work and the sun's long gone already. <laughs> what can you do? My truck is cold. You know, for being a Canadian from Manitoba, I sure complain about being cold a lot, don't I? Ah, I beat you to the comment section. You were gonna say it, I said it first. He complains a lot. I know, it's cold. <laughs> I don't like it. Just cause I live here and that I'm used to it, doesn't mean I have to like it, okay? There's no rule that says that in the rule book. And if it does, I haven't seen it. So point me to where it says that I have to. <laughs> Well, trucks, trucking's done for the day. Let's go home, see what the boys are up to. I think the wife is working tonight again. Uh, not too sure, I guess we'll find out when we get home. Oh, and we're back, Jerry! We're back home! Oh, oh don't, don't stomp on your little brothers, man. Stay down, stay down. I know you know better than to put your paws on me. I know you know better. Ah, 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 no one gets pet when they jump up. Nobody. Fine. Over here. Where's Diesel? Diesel? Hey. I'm bringing my wolf, okay? We're taking your wolf outside. Actually, no, I, I forget that. It's too heavy. I'm going to go leave it in here. Come on, guys. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Make sure all the Christmas lights are still working. You ready? You guys weren't as excited today to see me. What happened? Were you all sleeping? Did I wake you up? I woke you up, didn't I? <laughs> all right, come on. Come on, let's go. In the yard. One more, come on. Go, go, go. Looks like everything is still as it should be. Oh, our light didn't get as much sun today, obviously. It's still bright enough. I can tell it's a little bit dimmer. How's it going, guys? Where are you? <gasps> There's the weasel. I see a weasel. I spot it with my little eye. A weasel. Oh, he's a fast weasel. He's a fast weasel. Look, I found a piece of ice. No, it's mine. I don't know if I've mentioned this today yet, but it's cold. Thank God for natural gas that is nicely heating our home, right? Thank you, Alberta. Appreciate it. I think I'm getting a little bit of arthritis in some of my joints. Maybe it's just that they're cold, maybe. Maybe it's... I have instructions from the boss that uh, when I get home, that I need to vacuum. So we gotta keep the boss happy and get the house vacuumed before she gets home. All right, Dito, you gonna help me? It's the coup! Watch out! <laughs> That's supposed to go in the vacuum, not in my mouth. The nice thing about having such a small, tiny house, it only takes like 10 minutes to vacuum the whole thing. Britt has added another Christmas tree to our collection. This is one of those ceramic ones. It runs on battery power, but 
She's always wanted one of these. The star needs to be glued in place yet. But we actually ordered a, this is a 12 inch one, I think. We ordered a, where is it? Smaller. We ordered a bigger one anyways. Yeah, there's going to be another big one coming in the mail. The newest of our Christmas decorations. I like it. What do you think, Chevy? Very nice. I've been staring at it all day. Stay tuned. We'll have another vlog for you tomorrow. I still don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I never. I, I don't always know what I'm doing. We find out when we get there. You'll have to tune in. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new, welcome here. The description of all my videos tells you all you need to know about me and everywhere you can find me. See you later.